welcome back. This is Jalen at James Scale Model Art. Um, this is probably be part one of the Klingon Katinga battleship. I am trying out my microphone for the first time, so I don't know how this will work in my phone, because I also have the phone holder, which, you know, of course, to use the good camera, you got to block the screen so you can't access any of the controls while it's in there. So let's hope that this works. Um... I've been doing a little bit of work on this spaceship already because it seems to fly together, especially since you know I worked on the um, the DS9 space station that took me eight months just because there was so much to do to clean up um, the mold errors on the, the ship and plan out the lighting. But this thing, you know, it goes together really fast. Um, this is the bridge has a red clear part that goes inside here. I burnt out um, the LED that came with the light kit. Uh, I was, wasn't thinking, I applied too much power to it um, and burnt it out. So I, I snagged one uh, that was red coated um, from my Arduino kit and it should work fine because there it does work fine because there is the red uh, colored lens that came with the light kit. Even though I'm not using the light kit, I'm using. I will be using some of the photo wedge from the light kit. But I had picked up uh, Tenor Controls kit because it uh, has the uh, torpedo effect, and because I was lazy, I also got the light, all the lighting for it as well. Uh, so that came with um, a lighting strip, which I put in here for these windows. Uh, I frosted them uh, with white paint, which some people over at HLI recommend to do and it does work very well so you don't have to like scrub it or anything and it gets rid of that glitter and glare which the bulb has a lot of i'm not sure how i'm going to address that because usually what i use for windows is micro crystal clear um then i have the windows for the spotlights um these are little clear pieces you're going to have to mask off where the spotlight is going to come out so that you can light block these and it's probably going to be a pain to light block these and these but you do have little um window masks that come with the Aztec dummy set, which I have purchased. The only thing with with the um, Paragraphics photo etch, they do give you a, a, a large piece of, I mean, a long piece of photo etch that will mask this up, but you could still have some light leaks from the top and bottom. So I've decided not to use that because that could end up being more of a headache. I've lit up the onion bowl, bulb, the ladle. It looks like a big old, a big ass soup ladle. Um, just the uh, three LEDs from the strip tape is enough to light up the whole the, the windows on the bulb, and that those, those are the only kit parts that I added some white to to aid in the light bouncing around. Because really, this ship has more direct to window lighting. Um, then it has just areas where it needs the light to bounce around. It does have some in the interior, but I don't know if it's worth um, anything. I will be adding the uh, torpedo tube lights to here, which are included in the photo etch. They're also included in the main photo etch. This is for the shuttle bay. He also includes some in the shuttle bay. Um, I have to paint these. So I figured it'd be easier to paint these instead of having to try to mask off the LEDs. So I'm going to paint them first, install them. I'm also going to paint the inside of the tube first. And I can... I'll probably do that for some of the areas throughout the ship. Just to make things easier, like around the shuttle bay. Speaking of which, I had cut up in the shuttle bay. Because you have the, the, these doors here that go in here. Um, looks like that is what I heard flying off. So, never... But, um... There's a photo etch shuttle bay that I'll show you in another video that goes into here. So all, all I did was I used um, my Dremel with a sanding bit and, and carefully sanded this down, not all the way, because you want to keep this ridge in here for the shuttle bay fitment. And then I took my X-Acto knife on the back side and I started sliding on its back edge, that is, on the front side of the, of the uh, shuttle bay and started just like scribing the lines. And I kept doing that until it broke three, and this was able to pop out. It didn't take more than about 10 minutes. And I've done the wiring for the, the warp engines. 
These um, are pretty simple. You just have the one light, one three millimeter LED going in here um, and into this clear piece, which will light up these uh, lights on both sides in the nacelle and then this one on the back of the nacelle. I know these side ones don't light up very well, but I'm going to live with it. I was going to try to place like LEDs in there directly, but it's a little hard with the, this one, the way it's mounted. Um, I have had to do a lot of planning because when you get everything for the kit, you end up with like five different instruction manuals to have to keep aware of. Like they got the lighting kit manual, which has instructions for the photo etch, so that's one. You have the manual for the photo etch, so there's two. You have the manual for the shuttle bay, the kit manual, maybe four manuals, and then the, the tenant controls lighting manual. That's one. No, it is five. Five manuals. <laughs> but to make sense of everything with the um, tenant controls, he does does get, I don't want to show off his stuff, but you do get wiring schematics um, and a little map of telling you where to place the, the LEDs, you know, which ones go where. But the main thing I was looking at was um, just his instructions. And it's just, it turns into a lot of words uh, with something this complicated. So what I ended up doing was just making, uh, condensing everything out of all the blah, blah, blah words. And just like, you know, the, it seems like most of all the negative wires, except for a few, go to the same wire on the board. So you don't have to pay attention to those as much, but like the other ones they put like, you know, for the front torpedo, you know, positive orange LEDs to yellow number three on the board, po you know, positive um, LED six, which is the tor active torpedo to green number two and so on, so on. I just, you know, made um, notes for the switches to remember to put those in because that does go to the negative as well. Um, I did a little list here that shows how many wires will be connecting or how, you know, how many things will connect to each, um, hookup. So I know when I'm done with those. Uh, also, check a quadruple amount of times over and over and over. Um, that I have to remind myself the tape is resistored, so I don't want to test anything, you know, separately. You know, at nine volt, except for the tape, because I will blow the LEDs out, and I know I'll get them confused, and I'll blow something out. So I don't want to test too much until I have them on the board. I know, I know, I can test the individual LEDs; it's no problem. But like, so that's how I'm keeping all that. So like the nacelles, it's pretty simple. Uh, the wires will be coming out of a hole. I, they, you know, it's also going fast because, you know, this is made for lighting because they have produced their own lighting kit and the kit is molded in black and it's newer kit so it doesn't have as much cleanup, although it does have a lot of flash for what a new kit should have. But you just put these sides together. Um, I'm not going to glue it now just because I prefer to do that off camera as, as I'll be clamping stuff. But... Uh, or let me get the holes lined up because I will only have to close this once and then I can indeed glue it. But all right, there I have it all together and the wires are coming out of the hole. And then where did I push that off to? to oh, okay, this is the part. The rear part, you see the plastic peg is sticking out. Um, they can only go one way because they have a little tab on here. Push that in. Uh, this one seems to be fitting okay. I think it's the other one that's fitting a little loosely, but then you can go and tack that down. And, and then the cell is done and ready for uh, paint and primer. So you can understand, you know, obviously, you know, mess the lights, but you can understand why this thing is being thrown together. So I'll either see you in part two or just a follow up on this vid.